Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video here I'll be showing you how to cut holes in aluminum using a hole saw. For this I'm making a custom switch panel for my boat. This is 3 16 thick aluminum, however this can be applied to thicker aluminum as well. More time will be required when cutting the hole. It is best to use a drill press as you can get a square hole and you reduce the chance of the drill grabbing out of your hand. The slowest speed is best on the drill press as we want the most amount of torque. This isn't an overly powerful drill press, just a small benchtop model which does the job just fine when I take my time. Once a center has been marked out for the hole and a center drill is used, next is moving on to the hole saw. You'll need a hole saw which is compatible with cutting into non-ferrous metals. I would also recommend using a high quality hole saw. I have purchased cheaper versions in the past and you do notice a difference. Cutting oil is also a good option. Placing plywood on top of the platform of the drill press is best so you don't cut into it. Take your time, patience is key here. You will notice throughout the video that the drill press does stop. This is when it does bind up. As mentioned previously, this isn't an overly powerful drill press, however it can be used as long as I take my time. Only apply light pressure. I am stopping it occasionally to clean out any chips so it's not becoming packed inside the whole saw. This video is sped up, it did take me a few minutes to cut each of these holes. Once done, here you can see the hole. Moving on to the second hole for another view, again is the same process. The hole was center drilled, cutting oil is applied, and we are on the lowest speed setting for the drill press. Only apply light pressure and take your time. This is a longer piece of material so I'm able to hold on to it further away from the cutting spot. If you are working with a smaller piece of material, I would highly recommend clamping that part in place so it doesn't grab and rip out of your hand. Again, clean any shavings away as needed. You can see they are building up quite a bit inside the hole saw. Apply more cutting oil and then continue. Eventually, it'll be cut through. Careful not to touch the cutout portion as it may be hot. Once both holes have been cut, as you can see there are burrs left on the opposite side and this can be cleaned up using a file and sandpaper. The panel was eventually wet sanded and polished for the final finish. All the components are installed into the panel and as you can see this is how it looks when it's all finished. This concludes the rest of my video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below and throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more metalworking videos. Thank you for watching.